Well, that's a good thing when it comes to low budget TV. It's good to talk too much. Everyone, I'm here with Tim Lewis, the number 80 trailer racer. This guy's been busy in the last two weeks. We actually saw you out at the Antelope Valley Fair out in Lancaster putting on a show, and you were just telling me about pushing out that giant trailer. Yeah, it was uh, it was a good time. Uh, that that was pretty exciting. Pushing him, I finally caught up with him, pushing him down the back stretch. And normally, when you push on a car, it it spins inward. This guy went to the right and went launched right off the track. It was amazing. And not having a mirror, I didn't I, I didn't see what happened to him after that until he was all over me later. So yeah, he put on a show. It was hilarious. We finished that uh, at Lancaster. We finished with three three flat tires. Both both rear tires were flat. The right front was gone. The, um, the engine didn't have any water in it. Uh, <laughs> and uh, you know, thought maybe we blew it up and we weren't going to be able to be here tonight. But uh, two days later, it started right up, and here we are. So there there must be a big bug on that lightway over there. You know, it just. A big, a, a what? A big bug. The shadow keeps happening. It happens every oh, now and then. Yeah, like, <laughs> see, there's one right there. Oh, oh, now yeah. it's covering you up. Yeah, you're messing up the video there, dude. <laughs> Jason Galvin, man, you gotta watch out for him. Uh -huh. But yep. So tonight, you brought on the show again. You got flat tires again, but you never stopped going for it. I yeah, you know it. it it was uh, it was a good time when the car was started. Uh, after I span, spun out about three or four times, I finally realized that it was still going, and so I thought that if I just modified my driving, and so that boat that was in turn two, I started going between it and the wall. Instead of going low in the turns, I started going high, and then way up onto the half mile on both sides, and made the track into a big circle. And Every time I went low, somebody would ram me in the rear anyhow because I couldn't go fast enough. <laughs> so I just stayed up out of the way, and uh, I was actually surprised that we, that we finished it. So um, I think uh, last Halloween was the last time I finished a race, <laughs> period. Wow. <laughs> you know, I kind of like to get into it. You know, I'm old. I'm 63. Yeah, speaking of getting into it, what got you into trailer racing? Um, Ed... Uh, Ed that runs a tire shop here is one of my customers in Costa Mesa, <laughs> and uh, he been he drove the Irwindale truck in, you know. And I I'm an old racer. I used to race when I was a kid and haven't for years. And he says, "Oh, you got to come out and do this, you know. This trailer, you can just get a car and do this." And so I went, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, you know, it's okay, Ed." And the next thing I know, he came down and gave me a whole whole handful of passes, and the rules for the class, <laughs> and I thought. Shit, you know, he, he, <laughs> he brings me all this stuff, I gotta do it. So uh, we went to a towing auction and, and bought this El Camino. We paid $500 for it. It had a hot rod motor in it. Wow. And, um, wow. you know, and it had the aluminum wheels on it, but uh, I think that one's history now. <laughs> yeah, it looks like that one's uh, done, its, uh, done its deed. Yeah, the, each one of these wheels has a history. Each uh, Three out of the four has a little dent in the rim. Yeah. As it turned out, all the tires had been punctured. The, whoever uh, lost his car into the impound lot actually went through one of the spike strips in a, like a bank parking lot. <laughs> and the spikes went through the tire, through the sidewall, and then dented the rims, uh, three out of the four. And so... Um, uh, you know, you know they, they actually, this isn't the first time they've been killed. <laughs> they, were, they were destined to, to be killed at Irwindale, you know. So. <laughs> they knew, they knew one day when they were born that would be where they come from. But then I have to talk about this work of art you have as a trailer. I mean, this is beautiful. How did you pull this off? Well, uh, you know, I had the trailer and uh, I, to tell you the truth, I... I, I like to come out here by myself. I like, I'm, I'm a loner. I, you know, I'm a loan shark guy, and, and I hate trying to talk people into coming. And so I just look this thing. I got, got to figure out some way to get this trailer, on the trailer. So that, uh, otherwise, you have to have two tow vehicles and to drive all the way to Irwindale. In fact, we went to a Monster Jam in Anaheim, and and I had one of my friends tow this trailer on another trailer behind my van. He jackknifed it on the freeway. Oh, <laughs> Took geez. my van out. And uh, I ended up- He was trailer racing on the freeway. Yeah, I didn't know how to drive a trailer. And so um, so I thought, okay, you know, uh, it's not fair to ask your friends to have to crash your, your car. So I, uh, 
so we uh, we dreamed this up over about a weekend. We built this in one day, and uh, uh, I can put the entire thing on here by myself using the winch. It just you, you didn't see it go up, right? No, I missed it. The uh, A-frame in the front folds down, and it has a trailer ball on it that the trailer hitch for the trailer is attached to. So I take the cable, and there's a pulley up between the rear ramps that picks the trailer up. Then you lift that cross member out from under it and then you let the trailer down onto the trailer so it's on an angle like this. Then put the ramps down and then when you take the safety chain off the front, the trailer rolls back and the arm comes down and then you unhook the trailer ball and roll the trailer off. And of course you drive the truck out from under it before you do that. And then you reverse the whole thing when you put it back on. That sounds some, like, sounds like some mad engineering, dude. Yeah, yeah, and it, 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 uh, I've done it. I did a Lancaster and I did it here earlier in the year, so I've, I've done it three times now uh, by myself. So well, that's, it, uh, that's awesome. <laughs> uh, it's really nice. Uh, you know, the guys out here are really friendly and they'll help you if, if you want, but it's, uh, you know, it's cool if you can just do it on your own. So it's a lot of iron going down the road, and I'm thinking I'm probably going to get stopped one of these days. <laughs> the good old CHP, you know, is probably going to look at this going, there ain't no way this is safe. <laughs> <laughs> well, dude, um, you know, last question for you. Got to ask who you got to thank. Who I got to what? Who you got to thank, if there's anyone or yourself. <laughs> oh, thank? Yeah. Well, I'd like to thank this general transmission guy. He's my neighbor there in Costa Mesa, Lyle Miller, and he never wants to come to the races. And uh, this guy will be out there Monday morning. Uh, he'll, he'll put my car on his hoist and be looking at the transmission and just wanting to, and figuring out how he can do what he can do and never ask for a dime. And, and uh, he's just my best friend and he never comes to races. So, <laughs> so thank you, Lyle, from General Transmission. <laughs> wow, you got to come out and check Tim going crazy out here. But everyone, that's Tim Lewis, the number 80 trailer racer. And I'm I'm still loving this trailer. This is awesome. Come back on Halloween. Uh, everybody, come on Halloween and and uh, walk over here, and you'll see it work. Then so. I'm gonna have to check it out in the works. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. And Halloween. Were you here for Halloween last year? Oh hell yeah, I was here for Halloween. It's awesome. Okay, we're gonna be here for sure. So the night of destruction, everyone. Come on out, see Tim Lewis. Thank right. you, Tim. Thanks a bunch, everybody. See you again. <laughs>